Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and I'm going to invite you today to just follow along with me and paint this very simple ocean scene. And I've got it uh, on an 8x10 canvas. We started off with just painting it cad red yellow and drying it. I'm going to show you this sort of sweeping picture pattern, almost this V here that's going here from the side. See that? And we've got these to nice tonal colors coming down, doing a little magenta cad red medium, a little dazzling purple, phthalo blue. A um, little bit of burnt umber. Um, what's it? Yeah, burnt a little tiny bit of burnt umber, dazzling purple, yellow oxide, um, and you get this 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 really this is a simple to do, easy painting. And we just did it with one brush. We did it with a large ruby satin silver. Uh, what is that? Five eighths inch brush, and everything came down. I love it. You got all these angles. We got all this detail with it. Uh, if you like ocean scenes, I think this is a fun one to do. And of course, come uh, come check out how to you know under 30 minutes we're gonna uh, we're gonna create this painting, and I think you're gonna get this easily. Okay, so I've come down about um, four inches from the top of an eight by ten canvas. This is the eight one, about four inches, and I need to come down a little bit lower than that. So I'm gonna come down about a quarter. I don't want halfway. That can't be right though. How far is this? I came down. Well, four and a quarter, and I think I want to come down about four and a, about four and a half inches is where I want my line. So let me use a. I love if you guys don't have one of these um, little T squares, they're so interesting because you don't once you know where the mark is, you always get a straight line. Okay, that's my line. And I want to come up about two fingers worth right here and put a mark, and I want to come over um, here about um, halfway and make a mark. Then up here, we're going to do a line like this. We're going to do a line like that. And then probably right here, we're going to split the difference, do a line like that, okay? So you see how we've got, now we've got a focus of where we want our beach. And what we know is, what do we know is we know this is all going to be going in this direction, like this, the brush strokes. And then everything else is going to be water. So let's start off. We've got some interesting colors out. When I do these videos, now I'm doing a series of them, doing a whole bunch of them. And what my plan is, is to just um, use the paint that's out and start painting stuff. And I start off with the yellow canvas. I'm going to take some antique white, which is one of my new favorite colors. I'm going to come on up into the center like this, add a tiny bit of yellow oxide to it. Just a little bit like that, antique white and yellow oxide. And come up here in sweeping motions and suggest a partial sky. And as I come this way, I'll add a little bit more yellow oxide. Just really, it's interesting if you, you know, people say their paint dries out too quick. I, I This has been here all day. I mean, I, if I was worried about it, I would just take a little mister and fine mist everything. Just a little fine mister. They're called uh, spray bottles. I mean, don't use Windex, but anything like that would work. Okay, so now I want a little ultramarine blue and phthalo blue. Let me mix that. I'm going to come up down here on the top and just bring some streaks down like that, just from the top a little bit. Doesn't have to be much. There you go. I mean, th that that didn't take long, did it? And you're going, yeah, but it's hard to see. It is, because what's happened is, is that we're going over bright yellow. All right, now, because that will really make a nice reflective surface. Now, I want to come along here with cad yellow medium and um, cad red medium. And make sort of an orange color, and I want to come along here on my on my skyline. I think I'm coming down this far here, like that. And I think what happens when people do these sunsets that they get you get kind of excited about it, and it's really easy to um, to make too big a deal out of it. You know, this is a good one for learning to blend your colors. And um, as I come up a little further. I'm going to add a little bit of um, Tosney purple to that color, just a tiny bit. Let's see, where does that go? Let's put that over here. A little bit more yellow oxide to it, right? Kind of a, a brown. Now let's just come on up here like this. This is where the clouds are getting a little bit dusty. Now what I want to do, using this angle brush, I'm just going to um, suggest some clouds coming this way, kind of across what we just did like that. Just pull it like this. Okay. And then just smooth that out. 
Okay, so far so good. You're going, I don't know, it doesn't look like anything yet. Take a little magenta and add to that, just a drop. Just keep playing with these colors. Maybe a little bit of the antique white. There's just a kind of a pink tone to that. Maybe a little more yellow. Just playing with these sort of mauve clouds. I want to say that here's some, just some mauve colors in my sunset. Like this. Now remember, everything about skies and all that in acrylic painting, it's all about layers. So just see, notice how the brush is going on its edge now to get this in the brush stroke sweeping directions like this. And we're just still coming up like this as we come down a little bit closer to our sky where we're going to darken it down here a bit. Kind of back into this area. Let's take a little ultramarine blue and um, magenta now. And a little bit more ultramarine blue to that. A little bit of the antique whites. I don't want it too dark. Okay. I want to come in here like this. It's almost a purple feel. And I'm going right over this. I want some of this orange to show through. This is sort of the tricky thing here. Some of this orange is showing through, but I'm just kind of layering on this new layer of clouds. Just kind of flatten the brush and then lift it, flatten, lift it, flatten, lift it. It's kind of fun, right? Flatten, lift it, flatten, lift it. Let some of that orange show through here, like that. Okay, makes sense. Now, if I took a little bit more of the white and added to that, uh, let's take a little bit of yellow. Okay, let's make this sort of warm color. Now, I'm going to come on top of this, like this, pick a little bit more white, a little yellow oxide. Come over here and kind of lighten this up here. Okay, just up here like that. Again, I'm going to say that the there might be something light going on here. Barely touching it. Come down here like this with a few little clouds. Okay, so far so good. Yes and yes. All right, so let's take some of this peach color that we just did, kind of this orange peach color, and just come back over here and... Uh, Put it in our sand, and so it's the same color that we want in our water. You know, we have a wonderful wave and water masterclass. If you've never thought about learning to paint waves and water, consider that. We have from one cookie to box of cookie lessons, and the beast people think, well, I have to be a master artist to paint it. Well, it helps if you know the basics, you know, the basic blending and stuff. I will say that. But, you know, at that point, uh, let's see, I'm going to add a little bit more purple to this. And, um, little magenta. I'm going to come in here and darken my beach. This is my sandy beach. And uh, it, that's a good thing. If you, if you focus on painting, learning to paint, if you paint flowers one week and the oceans the next, and it's all very good, but if you really want to learn to paint something, I mean, really drill it down, then paint a lot of the same subject. And uh, let's just soften this off here like that. Not such a hard line. Okay, that's what you know. I, I would encourage everyone to learn to do. All right, so I'm going to come in here a little bit more pink in this, and I'm going to put this out here. Now, generally speaking, the trick about water that people don't know is that it it's really almost mirrors the sky. So whatever you did to the sky, oftentimes it will show up in your water, and particularly on this time of day. That's that's mo most likely to be true is uh, it's going to want to show up as the same. Now I'm going to a little bit more purple and ultramarine blue. I want it a little bit darker back here. Um, just back here on the horizon line. I'm going to say I want a little bit darker. And just, again, mixing a few colors. Pull this dark blue. It's more of a little bit of a blue color here. That's ultramarine blue. Okay, I'm going to come up here like this, so that that's our darker. Now, already we've got a very interesting ocean. We haven't done much, have we? I mean, we really haven't. We've done that. We've got this interesting ocean. Let's try a little magenta and uh, a little bit of cadred medium, a little bit of yellow. Okay, and let's come here, right where, right about in here, and let's 
Let's have some of these colors up in the sky, a little bit like up here like this. Maybe just coming up here like that. Some of these brighter colors. Something pretty bright. We got a little bit of the bright orange, but I think we could even exaggerate it a little bit more. It'll never be as bright as it was when we um, uh, first, you know, first put it up over the yellow. That will be as bright as it ever gets. But we can we can uh, add a little bit of white here, a little bit of light color here, and just while well, this is still wet. It's just this antique white. We can suggest some light coming into our water here like this. And this is the trick. If you just get that, just into the water like that. This one angle brush. That's all we're going to use. This one angle brush. And we're doing it at, at we're doing it at, at we're doing our wave. Well, this is still wet, so if I kind of go back and forth like this, I can make these uh, sort of foamy bits where the water's coming. So much paint's on here like this, and I'm going to just kind of rippling that where my wave's going to be. Okay? That's a good trick, too. If you, you know, these angle brushes, I can't say enough about them. And i got to tell you, my friends, the, the brush guys, and they really have been friends to all of us, and I don't talk, you know, I like to talk about manufacturers because no one really pays us. I like to talk about manufacturers that have made an effort to do something for not just me, but for the people that watch our videos. I mean, I think that that's as important. That's really important. So we're going to say there's a way back here too. And uh, I really appreciate everybody that's you know made that kind of an effort for us. And I know you do too. So I like to read. And these guys, and what I say by that, and I absolutely uh, think it's marvelous, right? Is what they've done is that if you use my name, Ginger Cook, all one word, you can go up on their website. It doesn't matter if it's my uh, paintbrushes, the art sherpas, my daughter, or anybody else's. Um, you At the end of checkout, just use my name and you get 5% off. Now, who else does that? And I get it too. I mean, I get they give me my 5% off if I do it too. But I appreciate that they do that. So I talk about them. And they have, I know sometimes Jerry's or these other companies will have good sales. But the brushguys.com, what they guys, what those guys do is, which is to me is just marvelous, right? What they do is um, they're, they're all year round. They keep the same good prices. All right, so we're going to say kind of, I don't want to do a dead center in the middle, so I'm gonna, we're kind of off to the side here. We're going to suggest um, using this. We're going to suggest a little bit of this antique white here, a little bit of yellow with it, I think. So a little bit of yellow with the antique white. There we go. We're going to suggest there might be a bit of a bright sun shining through here. And uh, there's a little tiny bit of white right here. Okay. So if I wanted to, I, I think that's pretty nice. Here's our antique white. And I'm all out of yellow. And we'll put a little more of that out which is as we play along with this, right? But here we go. We're going to play with that a little bit. Take a little bit of that antique white and cad yellow medium. And I need it's like 99% antique white and a little tiny bit of yellow because I've maybe a touch of purple with that because I don't I want that yellow to be toned down just a hair. Now I'm going to come up here and just suggest that we've got, see if that's still too white, let's put some yellow oxide in it. Okay. I'm just going to suggest that here's our, the underside of our clouds is doing this. Okay. All through here, this is the underside of the clouds. And it's coming this way into our sky. There we go. Isn't that pretty that when that sweeps and then this is sweeping that way, which is clever, I think. And then we've got this sweep in this way. And now all we need to do is put in the dark waves and the and the splash and a little bit more of the sand color. So we, we can work on the sand color here. Alright, so here's some sand color over the dark. And I'm just sort of put a little on and kind of smudge it around, right? Everything about acrylics is layers. 
So this isn't on real thick. This is on real thick. It's just sort of grabbing the canvas, right? And uh, here's a little bit of uh, some sort of dark on the beach here, like there on the edge, maybe where the sands come in, like that. Now, I've got just a little bit of burnt umber, and what I want to do is I want to come along here like this and suggest just making this top of this wave here like this and curving it down like that. At night, the waves are going to be dark, so that's why we're using kind of a burnt umber. We could put a little blue with it if we wanted to, a little phthalo blue if you wanted. Kind of give it a bit of a blue tone. There, we're going to say this is coming up kind of where we left the yellow. Don't make it a straight line. There's not a lot of straight lines in nature. There's a few, but not a lot. Okay, okay. So I say that that's a, there's our wave curling. And then we've got another one that we're going to put back here. Along here like this. This is the bottom of it. And this, the farther they are back, the thinner they are. Okay, so you wouldn't want to, um, you don't want giant waves. They're kind of, they get flatter the farther they are away. We cover all that stuff in the Wave and Water Masterclass, too. We talk about that kind of stuff where you know, your wave is coming up like that. Okay? So, again, I'm trying to keep this kind of simple, but pretty easy to do. And the angle is what we're playing with here, these beautiful angles of the water. And uh, remember, you've got a little bit of light back behind this wave like this. I could dry this, but I'm going to see if I can get away with not drying it. I may have to dry it, though, because I don't want them. I, if you, I would suggest you dry it, and here's why. What we don't want to happen is we don't want the... Um, we, do, we don't want the, um, the black, to, you know, the dark brown to muddy our color. But that's pretty good right there, okay? I've got to say, this is our next layer here like that. And what do we got going here? Well, if I just do something like that, that's my next layer. And usually, that you guys may not know this, but usually, almost like always, there's a dark line, um, like a shadow almost, where your where your wave is coming up over the beach. Now you'll notice how that this notice how we were able to erase how thick that line was. That's my little shadow here. Just a little bit of a shadow under here like that. Okay. I'll do the same thing over here. I'll just suggest, just suggest a little bit of a shadow. Now, if you get too big a line, don't worry. Just come with the light over it like this. Just come on top of it and bring it back like that. So you can always skinny up a line by kind of burying part of it. Okay. Now that's that. Now let's see. Let's see. What do we got here? We've got this wave we're going to say is coming up like this. Kind of bringing it up like this. And then bringing it, letting it fold over. Okay, like that. Okay, so that one is breaking. And then we've got one back here that's kind of breaking. A little bit of white and yellow oxide. We don't want that one so bright. We're going to say that right about here. This one might be breaking too, a little tiny bit, just not too, we're not going to get too crazy with that one. Okay, because since we're trying to keep this very simple, okay, and uh, here we go, a little bit of this yellow color on the top of this wave like that. And what else do we got? Oh yeah, let's take a little bit of this in white, titanium white now. Let's just put a, add a little of this color to the sunset. And same thing in here too. We want some definite light colors right here on the beach. And how about right here on the sand too? We'd be coming straight down from this one, little guy here. That's too bright. Boy, I wouldn't want anything that bright. Okay, say it's right here, okay? And that's coming down from this guy, okay? 
So now what I've got is that at an angle, and it has to be, this has to be, that the, here, hear me on this, that can't go there, because this has to be straight down from that, straight down, okay? So if you have to put a ruler, so you can see what straight down is, you're saying that that's where this light is reflecting on the water, on the sand. Make sure that it's, it's straight down from what it's reflecting, okay? That's really key here. And I might just play with the colors a bit here because we're saying this is coming through here. Let's expand, let's just expand this beach a little more. We can sure do that. There we go, let's expand that beach so that we have a little bit more of this color. A little bit of magenta, a little bit of cad red medium. Let's, let's, let's exaggerate this a little bit and come back here with a little magenta and blue. A little bit of white. I mix on, you'll see me mixing all the time on the canvas, right? Okay, so there we go. Pretty colors. And uh, here we go, a little bit of, I want to bring some orange this way. So I'm going to say I'm going to bring it over here with the beach. Okay, so there's where my, my water's coming in, and let's put a little bit of this color in here too, and uh, pull a little bit of this dark back this way, like this. Kind of suggest that that's, here's some water just on the brush, and kind of blend that out. Okay, a little bit of orange over that, there we go. So I'm saying this is kind of level here, there's our beach, and here's our, Here's our white water here. That's our foam stuff. Okay. So the for sure we've got the um, tides coming in. We've got these beautiful pink colors in our sky. Nice orange, and I might add a few more. Just want to exaggerate this a little bit. Does that make sense? Just exaggerate the colors just a bit. We've got all kinds of photographs of sunsets, so our our deal is to just see what we can do about kind of blocking it, kind of darkening it up on the edges a bit here on the sides, so that we're forcing our eye back into the into the, into the, in here, right? We're going to just put some of these colors over here, a little bit more of this ultramarine blue and magenta. Let's get a little bit more of the, kind of, you know, that ocean fog that happens. And let's just say that this is up here. And you kind of see where I'm painting, right? That. I just keep layering the colors. And uh, this is dry now, so it's going to, it's just a little bit of a damp brush. And I can dry brush on just a little bit more of this kind of purple mauve color up here like this. And still leave the orange showing underneath. And still leave some of this color. I want the beach a little bit darker here where it's reflecting that. Does that make sense? Where this is kind of, this sand color is reflecting that. I'll put a little of this color over here too and kind of darken up this side, this edge. There. So now that's drawn our eye, what we've done, we've drawn our eye in toward the center. Now let's take a little bit of this thalo blue, tiny bit of yellow, yellow blue, and a little bit of uh, that uh, antique white, right? And I want to exaggerate the blue coming down here just a touch. And the reason I'm doing that is what? Why? Why am I? Why? Because blue is the complement. Turquoise blue is the complement of orange on the color wheel. See that? So if you have that color and this color together, it's just amazing how nice that can be. And you don't need a lot of it. You just really don't need to say much of this at all. 
We've got the orange, we've got the blue coming down. We've got uh, got kind of this mauve color. And I might even give myself a little more beach than I did before to exaggerate that. Remember, keep the brush strokes level. How are we doing with the with the ocean waves? Can we drop something here? Okay, where the, where the tide's kind of pulling in. And uh, here's our antique white. Let's get the highlights here from our on the sand. It's just suggest that that's from the sun right there that's coming into the. There we go. We've done some of these, but I think this is kind of pretty. I mean, everybody likes this type of painting where you have a little sun and you have a little orange, and you know, here's a little orange next to that. Everybody likes this kind. Of, I like this kind of painting. It's just pretty. It's just you, you can do a small one of this. You can, you know, do this little tiny one. It makes a great little painting to hang up in a powder room. If you do it larger, of course, that's nice too. And um, when I look at this now, I'm just going to move the yellow sheet because I think it takes away from it. Uh, when I look at that now, I've got a really nice, um, I think, anyway, I've got, I think we've got a really nice ocean scene. And it wasn't that hard to do. And don't you love this blue? Now, part of me is you know, this blue's coming down here. I don't have any of that anywhere here. And I'm going to do something a little crazy. I'm going to add just a touch of that color in the, you know, I mean, you're barely going to see it. I'm just going to suggest that there's a touch of that blue on here like that. What do you think? Because I just want a little of it down there, just because I think there ought to be some. How's that? No other reason than I think there ought to be some down here of this blue along here. But barely, but barely, right? Okay, so there we've got our we've got our beach at an angle. We've got our uh, John. You're not talking. You're over there just saying nothing, and I know I'm talking a lot, but I feel like all alone over here. Is that Sorry, this is working over your boss. Okay, so all right, so we've got this. So just can we bring out some of this over here like that? See how we've got this pattern going, this V going in our clouds. Okay, let's come up here and do that. Want a really bright orange up here. Hmm. Maybe some magenta in it. I don't think I've got quite the color I want that. There we go. There we go. That's it, you guys. All right, that's our... Um, Okay, our mauve, mauve, mauve sunset. Oh, yeah, I just think the colors are pretty. And this is the kind of thing that I like to do in, you know, just fast little ocean scenes, which, uh, you know, are, are fun to do. You know, you'll see me play with the sky a little bit sometimes, but basically... I don't want to get, if you get the sky too busy, you take away, here's the trick. If you get the sky too busy, you take away from the, um, it, you absolutely will take away from the, the rest of the picture. So it's a fine line. I mean, that you can have some bright colors, but don't get too crazy with me because you'll, you'll take away because your center of interest is right in here where all this wave, wave stuff is right about here where we've got some lot of waves and I'm going to do a little bit of white up here. Um, so this is where the titanium white comes in because we're not using it anywhere else. Okay, there we go. And that's where our... And I don't think I want any back. We don't have much back here. And let's see, where's our darks? We've got something dark coming right here like that. There we go, you guys. There's our our beach. Put a little dark here to balance some of that. A little bit of dark bit of sand or something. To balance some of this dark over here. Let's see, a little bit of purple. 
to balance some of this. The magenta and blue make a really nice purple. Like that, and we'll balance the beach off this way. And balance this off like that. I think we're pretty good right here. I didn't want that white right there, so let me just erase that. I want that mauve. That's got to stay that purple mauve color to go with the rest of this. Okay, you guys, I think that's it. Oh, there we go. A little bit of orange gold next to that purple for complementary colors. Fun. People always say, what colors would you buy? If you could buy some sort of colors, what would you get? Um, you know, extra colors. I would get Cad Red Light. I'm not using any of that, but Cad Red Light is a really good color to have when you're doing sunsets. So if you like sunsets and you like sunsets, try that. It's a very bright orange. We're, again, we're not using that, but there we go. Here's our... Um, now we need to do some straight lines across that so it doesn't look too... Like that, so there's our reflection. We'll do some lines, just, just barely, just kind of push this off a little bit so it's not so bright. Okay. Yeah, see, you didn't want a big circle there, right? Oh, and then if we were going to do, I don't know, would we do anything too crazy? I don't think so. I don't think we want to do anything crazy. This is it, you guys. So, if this was fun, let me stop this here. Our video, and I'll stop and sign it. I haven't didn't dry anything. So it's all done wet on wet, okay? Which I think is kind of cool in itself. You gotta admit. I'm gonna bring this color down here a little bit. There we go. How am I doing, John? How, what was my time on this? About 30 minutes. About 30 minutes, okay. Well, you know, that's about what it takes to do a little painting, and I hope you guys liked it. I want you to consider coming over to our website, gingercooklive.gallery. Come check out our Wave and Water Masterclass if you are interested in painting lots of water. We've also got a, some wonderful ocean paintings right here on YouTube. I'll put a link in the um, you know, at the end with the, with the playlist for all our o ocean paintings if you like painting water. And uh, subscribe to the channel if that um, suits you. Look at that, a little bit of more orange in here. Oh, I could, you know what? This ginger could play with color all day long. Well, we're going to call that done. And hope you enjoyed painting it. Now, here's the trick. It doesn't look all that great right here because we've got, well, let me show you what happens when we paint off this yellow out here and paint these sides darker. Okay, like this. Just show you what happens when you do that because that's reflecting on the camera. See, look at already, that looks better, doesn't it? Just painting that side darker. It's almost like we framed it. This is, you know, of course, 8 by 10s you know, they're so easy to frame. Um, I should put, you know, I really should get some 8 by 10 frames, John, and just show these pictures in a frame when we're done. Don't we have some? Did Judy send us some? We don't have any? I thought for sure, and then I thought when I was working at, uh, at Jerry's, I was teaching at Jerry's about four years ago, I thought I bought some. 8 by 10. So I could be wrong, but I really thought. So, th you have some 8 by 10s? All right, you want to see what it looks like? Let me dry this. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a frame. I just wanted you. This is what it looks like if you just, you know, painted the sides, right? Uh, which is not bad. You know, it certainly can do that. But 8 by 10 frames are usually very inexpensive. And so they're a, they're a good way to... Um, Really good way to you know you know make a painting seem very very finished. Let me just give it. I'll do a quick dry on this for you guys and then show you how I let me just bring this down from the top, right? And show you how we um, how we frame this because I I think uh, uh, you you'd be just pleasantly surprised. A little bit of yellow right here in the front here. Oh, isn't that pretty? I don't think I want to bring that all the way out here to kind of do that. Look at that. How cool is that, right? Oh, come on. This is fun.
Nothing funner than painting. I'm telling you what. Well, maybe a few things, but not much. All right. Can't do skydiving anymore. Not that I ever did, but you know, that was fun too. But you know, we're not doing skydiving anymore, so you gotta go with me on this, right? Okay. Wow, I should sign this before I go get carried away. John's framing that. I'm gonna sign it. I hope you guys like this. I think I think the whole idea of this picture pattern in here is great. And uh, I hope you th think it was fun too. Okay. All right, drying this up. Okay, there it is framed. This is a little simple box frame we got at Jerry's. It just uh, clips right in. You don't have to do anything fancy about it. These little clips just hold it. It comes with a little picture hanger, which I think I did upside down. I did put... I put it in upside down, but I would fix it right if I were hanging it on the wall. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and um, uh, come subscribe to our channel. Come visit us. Come visit our Facebook club, and come visit our art academy at gingercooklive.gallery.